So I've been gone for about two months, but I'm back again. And this time I'm starting a little series called The Forager's Diary, where I'll show you some of the things that I've been foraging, what I've been making with them, what's in season here, and just how I'm working with plants at the moment. And I'm not sure how often I'll share these with you, but I thought it'd be a nice start to use some of the footage of the past few months. And I really hope you enjoy. Around springtime, many people will be looking to forage wild garlic. And this is one that's quite similar, but it's an invasive called few flowered leek, Allium paradoxum. And as you can see, it really like takes over spaces it grows in. And that's because it reproduces incredibly quickly. And it unfortunately also out reproduces um, wild garlic quite often, as you can see here. So, um, this year I've really been harvesting mainly a few flowered leek because yeah, I, I want the wild garlic to stay and stick around, you know, so um, with foraging it's always so important to kind of forage respectfully and also sustainably and not take more than you need or not take where there isn't anything for you to take, you know. So the wild garlic this year hasn't really been picked that much by me <laughs> this year um, and I've just really been enjoying seeing it grow. Another favourite of mine is ground elder. It is really quite easy to identify although it is a member of the um, like carrot family, um, umbelliferous family, apiaceae, whatever you want to call it and they can have some really dangerous poisonous um, members um, like hemlock for example but this one's quite easy because it smells incredibly strongly like carrots um, and similar to nettles I would just recommend these two for beginner foragers and obviously don't ever pick anything you're not sure of and don't eat anything especially if you're not completely sure of what you're picking usually I will actually harvest nettles without gloves um, but sometimes you accidentally pull out the whole nettle when you do that. So maybe bringing like scissors is quite a good idea. <laughs> so then usually after I've picked plants, I will just dry them. And to be honest, I don't have a lot of space in my flat. So I'll just lay it out in whatever way works um, at that time. So I'll leave it around until it kind of shrivels up. You know, you just need good ventilation to make sure that it doesn't mold. But overall this works fine for me and um, it's very simple just low cost you know and um, today I really wanted to make salt out of nettle and um, ground elder because I thought that would be a really nice sort of herb um, salt to add to my cooking and honestly it was amazing um, I also did it with the little bulbs of the few flowered leek, which I kind of toasted very slightly in the oven and then I just um, put it all together, made a salt. Definitely highly recommend that.
I've been picking quite a lot of larch tree actually um, and larches are amazing they make incredibly good tea and they're fresh spring growth this is just one of the only sort of um, trees that also loses its needles and um, that's why it's called larix decidua but yeah it's really easy to dry and it makes an incredible tea it tastes very fresh <laughs> anyway I hope you I hope you enjoyed this little video I'm sorry this one's a bit chaotic um, but I'm happy to be back and I hope to make more take care and thank you for watching